Hello and welcome to the second part of Grade 7, Structures and Forces. This is Mrs. Taylor. When we talk about structures, we talk about types of material that structures are made out of. These include things like composite materials, so something that contains more than one type of material, so concrete and glass, or concrete and metal. An example of this is concrete that is reinforced with steel rods or rebar. Another type of material are layered materials. These are different layers of materials that have been pressed or glued together and are often used in products that you use every day. These layers are called laminations and um, you can see them in a layer of juice boxes because juice boxes contain layers of paper, plastic and aluminum foil that make it lightweight, waterproof and airtight. Woven and knit materials are also used to produce uh, structures. Weaving and knitting are used to make flexible, strong materials that um, you can wear. So an example is yarn dish cloths are worn together and are flexible and strong. Also uh, cotton t-shirts or jeans are all woven together. When engineers choose what materials to use um, when they're building structures, they have to consider a bunch of different things. The first is the cost of ma the material. So if nobody can afford to use it, then they won't, then it's not very good to try to use. The second is environmental impact. So they're trying to make it sure that it's not very toxic and that it will have as little environmental impact as possible. Also appearance, so how it looks. Is it, does it look nice? Is it ugly? Also energy efficiency. Uh, is it going to cost a lot of energy to run? Materials are uh, combined, or materials sometimes have joints. Joints in structures are where the parts are joined together. So uh, there are two types of joints. One is a mobile joint. It allows movement. Uh, these these type of joints hold parts together but still allow them to move freely so your elbow is a type of joint or the pedals on your bicycle have a mobile joint that allow them to still main, uh, remain attached to a bicycle but move at the same time. Door hinges are also a mobile joint. The second type of joint is a rigid joint which are attached to parts of a structure without allowing movement. So there, here is an elbow. That's a mobile joint. Rigid joints have five different categories. The first type of rigid joints are fasteners and these include things like nails, bolts, and screws. These are things that you drill in or hammer into objects. The second type are things found in Lego. These are interlocking shapes and um, you can also see them sometimes in paving stones. The third type of rigid joint is ties, so you can tie things together with string, thread or rope. You can use adhesives um, such as glues or uh, rubber cement. And you can melt things together by welding or soldering or also you can melt plastic together and that's another way to fasten plastic materials. So there's a picture of a guy down there welding two pieces of metal together. Here is uh, using fasteners with a hammer.